What up, you nerds? Fallout here, and I wanted to make a video on the class changes for each class in D2 going into Season of Dawn. If you don't know what I'm yapping about, subclasses got buffed in Season 9. Check the patch notes, which I've conveniently linked for you down in the comment section to read along with me. And while you're down there, be sure to check out the links to my sponsors and my dank t-shirt store, sign your soul over to me, yada yada yada, all the usual. So anyway, today we're covering all the changes made to everyone's favorite crayon eaters, Titans. And don't worry, real Titan mains won't get mad at that joke because they probably don't get it. Anyway, let's start off with the changes made to Striker Titans, which are surprisingly slim, borderline, why did they do this? The only change was made to Thundercrash, aka the middle tree, where they got increased base damage, increased in-flight damage, and increased the amount of time you have in the air after activation. For the increased base damage, yeah, this change was likely made for PvE, since in PvP, everything gets completely obliterated by Code of the Missile Smash no matter what. Same thing goes for in-flight damage. I can't really imagine that was made with Crucible in mind. Hey, you know what Titans are really missing? Uh, Titan skating? No, remove that man. They need more in-flight flyby damage for Thunder Crash. Kind of a strange change. Even if you whizzed by someone pre-Season of Dawn, they still died in PvP. Again, probably a PvE change. The extra in-flight time is kinda nice though. It's not a ton of extra time, but I guess any extra time given can help you make your decision of who or what to smash while you're yeeting around in the air. And with that, we move on to Solar Titan changes, the true meaty content you can really sink your teeth into. First up there, we got Code of the Fireforged, aka the top tree. Let's see what we got here. Vulcan's Rage was made uh, much more angry. Fantastic job with these patch notes, gentlemen. Basically, they increased the detonation time minimum from zero to half a second and pumped up the cluster spread of the hammer. I would think that's probably more of a PvE change, really, unless you have a bunch of people in PvP all holding hands together in a hallway who you happen to bop with one of your hammers. For the Hammer of Soul itself, direct impact damage has been brought down from 70 to 5, and detonation damage went up from 205 to 270. Does that really mean anything in the grand scheme of things? Eh, not really. A direct hit with a hammer in PvP is still gonna kill no matter what, so nothing has really changed in that regard. For Bottom Tree Sunbreaker, the explosion radius on Mortar Blast was raised from 5 to 6 meters. Uh, Yay, I guess. But the Soul Invictus perk got some key changes here that we should go over. First, burning targets that you kill now make sunspots, which is great for bottom tree titans because sunspots are kind of their whole deal. In addition to that, killing a burning target with anything at all, not just an ability, will trigger healing. <laughs> Sorry, uh, trigger the heal. Eh, don't worry, it's not like one-eyed mask level good. I actually barely noticed it at all first time I pulled it off. It really just gives you a small chunk immediately, but hey, a small chunk is better than no chunk at all. Go ahead and write that down. Also, when your Sun Warrior buff is active, any kills you get can now make extra sunspots. If you're in PvP, killing a Guardian with the buff active will 100% make a sunspot. In PvE, it depends on the enemy you're Killing. You'll need to kill either one boss or two majors or four minors. There is a one second cooldown on making sunspots though, so if you're reaping through enemies in PvP like a hot scythe through a field of wheat, then you're gonna be temporarily limited on sunspot generation. Only for one second, but yeah. Finally, for Sun Warrior itself, ability recharge rate was kicked up by 35%, which is fan friggin' tastic for Titans. Oh, and they adjusted FX and audio for allied sunspots spots if you care about that kind of stuff. Overall, I think Bottom Tree Sunbreaker might actually be a little more appealing now for Titan mains. I haven't spent a ton of time trying to play Bottom Tree Sunbreaker yet though, so I can't really give good in-game feedback there, mainly because I've been spending almost all of my time on this. Middle Tree Sunbreaker, the code of the meme. I mean the Devastator. First, let's go over the super, Burning Maul. Right off the bat, the super duration was improved by about 7 extra seconds if you're doing absolutely nothing. Not bad. 
gives you more time to roam around looking for enemies. Light attack energy had its cost taken down from 5 to 3%, and they also tuned movement and player feedback. Tuned? They tuned player feedback? Whatever, you can spin with your hammer more now. That is the takeaway there. The big heavy ground pound had a couple of changes too. These are less of buffs and more of a mixture of buffs and nerfs. Burfs, let's say. Heavy attack got reduced speed of the fire that goes along the ground and reduced tracking radius. I don't have a ton of before footage on this, but I definitely did feel the loss of the tracking, which is kind of unfortunate. It definitely did feel way less aggressive than it did in the past. They've also increased the height of the ground pound projectile hitbox, aka big fire boom goes higher now. This was done to better fight annoying ass hunters who try to get slick and out jump your ground pound fire. It's still possible for a hunter to out jump the ground pound, but I found it's much more consistent now. They really need to know it's coming and anticipate to get away from it. Finally, ground pound energy was increased from 6 to 8%, but don't worry because with the extra 7 7 second super duration, the extra energy cost on the ground pound isn't tremendously noticeable. Both before Season of Dawn and after the update, you can pull off 8 heavy attacks right away if you wanted to. Now we get to the really silly changes, and those are the ones made to Roaring Flames and the mini Mjolnir throwing hammer, which even as a non-Titan main, I love with all my heart. Bungie, give me a Thor-like exotic that allows me to call my hammer back to my hand and I'll never complain about anything ever again for 24 hours. So, the throwing hammer got its damage turned up from 100 to 120 on a hit. If you think that's not strong enough, just wait, because Roaring Flames has been reworked if you can't remember what that perk does. Whenever you get a solar ability kill, you get one stack of Roaring Flames, which makes your solar abilities do more damage temporarily. It stacks three times at 10% per stack, or at least it did. With Season of Dawn, it still stacks three times, but now each stack is 25% extra damage. Mother of God. Through a very sophisticated and scientific process, and by that I mean standing around in a private lobby while chucking flaming objects at close friends, I've learned that at Roaring Flames level 2, a fusion grenade is now capable of one-hit killing any guardian in PvP, and a throwing hammer can potentially one-hit kill a guardian if they are running low resilience. On top on top of that, at Roaring Flames level 3, obviously a fusion grenade will still one-shot, but a throwing hammer becomes a guaranteed one-hit kill on anyone as well. <laughs> and did I mention, the duration of Roaring Flames has been increased from 15 to 20 seconds. Now before you panic, let's be clear. Getting solar ability kills straight up in PvP is kinda rough, especially if you're deliberately trying to go for them to intentionally get to Roaring Flames level 3. Trust me. If you're playing PvP like a normal person, then the majority of your kills are going to be with weapons. You'll probably get an ability kill here or there, but getting to Roaring Flames level 2 intentionally is kind of a challenge. Either way, if you're a middle tree sunbreaker and you want to play normally, that's fine. But if you want to pull off some super top tier meme trash, really try to get Roaring Flames level 2 with just your throwing hammer. I know, easy said than done, but really try. Then, when you're at Roaring Flames level 2, remember, a fusion grenade is a one-hit kill, so pull that off to get to level 3, and now that you're at level 3, it's time to go maximum 4 and throw your mini hammer around to get one-hit kills left and right. Again, trust me, unless you're a top-tier hammer god, this is not going to be easy, but the times I've gotten it to work, wow is it fun. The easiest way to pull this off, really, is to just act Activate your burning mall super, you get a few kills, and then when your super is deactivated, hopefully you already have a few levels of roaring flame under your belt from your super, and then you can go right to either a one-hit fusion or instant hammer time. Please rest assured that anyone who tweets out any clutch one-hit hammer throws and tags me in them, I will very likely retweet, or at the very least, chuckle heartily to myself and say, F yeah buddy, F yeah. 
Anyway, those are the Titan changes in a nutshell. All you punch bros, go out there and enjoy. Now to finish up the video, I'm just gonna let some clips play, mostly of me trying to get Roaring Flame level three plays, and mostly failing, cause it's hard in general, and everyone out here is arbalesting against my little hammer that came out wrong. But let me know down in the comment section what subclass you want me to go over next, Warlock or Hunter. Don't forget to click like if you enjoyed today's content, and please click subscribe subscribe because I am damn close to 200k. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay. Bong. Ooh, okay. Come at me, bro. What are you afraid of? Booyah. Get out. Get out. Yes. Hammer versus sword. Who you got, boys? All right, here we go. Go outside. Oh, someone's out there. Come here, buddy. Oh, that's not going to hit. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, never mind. All right, let's go for uh, let's go for times three. Need a times three. You, you, you. No arbalist. Oh God! Stop shooting me in the ass, please. Okay. All right, we got three. Got three. I'm probably gonna die. Oh, come here. Going for it. Yes. <laughs> oh, the hammer's so satisfying. Who do we got back here? Oh, hi there. Little crimson for you. Anyone? Yeah, hello? No. Smoke nade. You know the most annoying thing about getting Roaring Flame times two is you need both abilities. Oh, come here. Uh, ready to go. Uh, close enough. You'll get the hammer. Oh, of course. And then the other times you want to get the hammer, but uh, you know they die to the mind bender. Come here. All right, fine. You go away. Hunt your friends down like you. Please hit. Thank you, God. Okay. Oh, two on spawn. Here we go. Here we go. Gonna get that times three. Yeet and yeet. Oh, did you pick that off? Oh, Blueberry, what have you done to me? Okay, come on. I need to, come on, somebody be times three. You. Oh my god, that worked. Okay, times three. Come here, come here. Oh, no. Arbalist. Dear, I hate the Arbalist. Oh, it's everywhere. You know what? Tired of ability kills. That's what you get. No more. I'm trying to throw hammers at people and they're killing me with their guns I'm just gonna you're just gonna get shot all of you are gonna get shot you're gonna get shot oh jeez. okay you f that up big time you're getting shot hey your buddy's getting shot I think my teammate threw a nova bomb at the ceiling quick play all right desperately need a oh damn it dude weak people oh come here buddy oh you're prime yes oh uh, hello Oh my god, really, Bungie with the lag? And I don't get the roaring flames because of that? Oh my god, really? Oh, dude, really? Oh my god, I just hate everything right now. Ah, uh, Blueberry. Oh no, I came here to save you. Well, I'm gonna die now. Uh, yeah, that was intentional. <laughs> just get out of there. Uh, put that one in the, in the Taj. I just want one more. Bong. Come here, buddy. You better not move. Oh my god, fire, please. What? Am I kill the other guy? Whatever, I don't care. Come here. Give me times two. No. Oh my god, dude. The tracking on the fire is definitely not as aggro. Come here. Booyah. I got two. Who wants to be three? Oh, please don't F this up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Catch. <laughs> yes. All right. Who wants the hammer? Oh, here, buddy. Come here. <gasps> no. Oh, god. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, oh, you! Come here! Uh, yes! Oh, totally worth it. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't... I don't even care anymore. Totally worth it.